Got this little song I've been thinking about doing about the knockout. It's my second home if you didn't know I stay in the studio. What up, Greasy? What up, bro? Ready to do this joint, bro? Yeah, bro, I don't need no song. Just cut the beat on. Let me just get up in there and knock this out. You know, I don't need nothing. Just cue that music up. Let's do it. The business, the business. Uh, just read a book that's a thousand pages long. Open up the page, then fillet me on that chapter. I'ma I'ma get in and on that chapter. Soon as I begin, I'ma own that chapter. Chris, Chris, Christmas break from school. Read a book cause you supposed to. Girl, I got a notebook. I'm writing a note to you. I don't need no reading glasses. I don't even need class. Tell them keep my name out their mouth if they can't read fast. In the library we'll go Green eggs and ham Dr. Susan Where's Waldo? You don't read books You'll end up the dumbest I promise I don't need hooked on phonics Yeah, but anyway Books I read several In school I read on a 12th grade level Books on fire like the devil And why you burn it up and dump it Burn it, burn it up and, and dump we it we read that It's too 
innocent baby. Young people, look, I've written 18 books. I believe reading is critical. Reading saved my life. I was a young child in the ghetto of Detroit, fifth grade. My teacher, Mrs. James, gave us a hunger for literacy, a hunger for reading. The books we read began to shape the minds we began to think with, and the minds we began to think with shaped the visions and imagination we had about getting from where we were in the hood, in the ghetto, in the neighborhood, in Detroit, to something bigger and better, to something deeper and wiser. So reading is not only fundamental, it's also a way of transforming yourself, which simply means making yourself into a better person. And if you continue to read, you can continue to speak words of wisdom and insight and courage and yes, rage and anger against the forces that treat you in a bad and negative and funky way. If we are what we eat, our minds are what we read. If you read great thoughts, you'll be able to think great thoughts. If you read great sentences, you'll be able to speak great sentences. And if you read great insight, you already will become a vessel for great insight. Dr. Michael Eric Dyson, that's my two cents.